According to testimony late today in juvenile court here in D.C., this was five friends, all of them girls, riding in a car after a night out in D.C. They'd gone to the McDonald's at 14th and U Northwest about 2 in the morning Sunday and were back in the car when an argument between teenage friends from Waldorf broke out over sweet and sour sauce. The fight that followed spilled out of the car in front of the McDonald's and that's when 16-year-old Naima Ligon of Waldorf was stabbed twice by another 16-year-old girl from Waldorf. The two were friends, according to the MPD detective who testified today. Ligon was taken by the other girls to nearby Howard University Hospital where she died. The suspect was stopped by police walking alone a block away from the stabbing scene and had a black folding knife in her possession. Ligon's heartbroken family released photos of her with her mother. A neighbor spoke to us today about the murdered teen. Beautiful, um, very intelligent young girl. Um, my son's only friend here. So he's in, impacted by this, and I, I would imagine all the rest of the kids in the neighborhood are as well. All of this happened on the eve of today's first day of school at Thomas Stone High School in Waldorf. A principal there called Ligon's death a tragedy that has left the school heartbroken. Outside D.C. Superior Court, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. All right, Scott, thank you. And Ligon's family sent us this statement about an hour ago. And it reads, and we're quoting here, if I had one message for parents, it's love on your kids. Make sure they know they are loved when they walk out your door because you never know if that's the last time or if you know that that may be the last time you see them. We love you, Naima, and we'll miss her incredibly. And she left a lasting imprint on our hearts. That statement goes on to say, I pray for our family and for her friends and also for the family of the young lady who took her life.